two years ago at the beginning of the pandemic. I was looking for a barber, but not for me. I was looking for a barber because a video went viral of a barber, obviously a professional barber, on an avenue in Brighton Beach, you know, just setting up shop right on on the Esplanade, cutting hair. And people were taking, you know, video pictures and it just went viral. Back then, you couldn't go to a barber. Nobody could. They were all closed and people were starting to look bad. And there was no end in sight. We didn't know when barbers were gonna come back into business. I remember seeing the uh, story go up with the video and I was like, wow, that's pretty smart. And then wondering, why haven't we talked to this guy yet? So a couple of days went by. Still, nobody had talked to this guy. None of the local or even national news channels were able to find this guy. Early the next week, it was May 10th, my editor sent me to go find this guy. They didn't have an address, they didn't have any name, they didn't have anything but the video. So I took the video and I looked at it and I just drove down to an area of Brighton Beach that has a little esplanade like that. I parked my car, I got out and I walked that entire esplanade. I just kept looking at the benches and looking at the a still of the video and looking at the benches and walking. And finally I found one where the trees and the bench and you know everything kind of lined up a little bit. And I was like, all right, I think this is where it was. And then I just started looking really close at the benches. I know it sounds weird, but I was gonna sit where they were sitting in the video. So I sat down and I'm like, put my arms up. I was like looking around and I looked down beside me and in the slats of the bench, was a business card for a barber, and I'm not joking, and it said his name, like Joel Munoz, and Level Up Cuts. Coincidence? Maybe, but probably not. Very shortly, I was talking to Joel Munoz. <laughs> he was shocked that we found him. Nobody else had. And then I let him know we weren't looking to cause him any trouble. We just wanted to know, like, what was pushing him to do something that nobody else had done. And he said, I just had a daughter. She's two weeks old. I have, like, a four-year-old son. All I'm doing is buying formula, <laughs> milk, diapers, like, and paying rent. I got no money. I can't just be out of work forever. And, you know, I'm not getting any money from the government or anything. That was his story. The day that that video went viral, he immediately started getting heat from the police, from everybody. Before his video went viral, he was doing this for like a week. The cops pulled up and told him, make sure everybody stays six feet apart. And he was like, okay. And they didn't have any problem with it otherwise. So he was basically doing this under the watchful eyes of the NYPD who didn't have any problems with it as long as everybody was social distancing. As soon as that video went viral, a cop pulled by and said, nope, no more of this, like you're done. By the way, he wasn't alone. A week or so before his video went viral, another barber had been busted for giving haircuts out of his van and he had been actually summoned. Right after that video went up, there was no way to get in touch with him. He wasn't gonna be out there to be found. He had moved his operations to basically like a garage. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't want to miss any of the stories we're running on for the New York Post, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks again.